Bruce driving on the snares. Already, <laughs> from the dodgy MIDI guitar samples, it somehow sound worse than than FM synthesized versions. We're not look, it's not looking good. I mean, the HUD is huge, but you know, let's give it a go. Same, well, interesting car selection. Same tracks. Easy. Right. Same game. Now the snares, unfortunately, was not as capable as the Mega Drive. <clears throat> when it came to 3C stuff. That's the problem. The snares at its best is comparable to the Mega Drive when it isn't doing so well. So when you get a few objects on screen at once the snares is reduced to a crawl. I mean it's worth noting though, you know, they at least tried to do the the mount in a bit. So you don't have that weird floating road. Which is good. However it's weird that the the 3D and the 2D aren't in sync. So as you can see, when I turn, the arrows at the bottom move quite swiftly, but the effect on the action is negligible. Whoa! Ouch. Ah, that jump is a lot smaller than, in, than on the Mega Drive and in the original game. On the bright side, it should be easier to do with the road stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> Splat. That's a pretty appalling sample as well. Oh, hang on, do I get to. Oh, I continue from. <laughs> Okay, that's weird considering I didn't actually make the jump. But, you know, I'll go with it. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the corkscrew. Do I have to turn into the corkscrew? Okay, that's weird. someone needs to take them aside and explain to them the mechanics of the corkscrew. Oh wow, they've tried to do the half pipe. 
That's cool. That was in the arcade, but was ditched uh, from the Mega Drive version. Oh dear. Still on the right side, we know what we're doing now, don't we? Weirdly, you can also steal the shoulder buttons if you really want to. Let's try that again, shall we? That's quite satisfying actually, that's quite yeah, I like that noise. Good dunk. So slow. I don't know why they've tried a more ambitious port than the Mega Drive. I'm dealing with slightly slower hardware. Oh, I didn't mean to break that much. Oh, did the job though. Come on, car, you can do it. Yeah, that's a really strange way of doing the corkscrew. And I'm not sure what the point of changing gear is. I seem to be able to accelerate really well in fourth gear. You see the acceleration and braking seem to negate. I would say though in the original in the original arcade machine that's a train and it's a lot harder to avoid. Hmm. There you go. I mean it's clearly inferior um, to the Mega Drive game, but you know. I've heard rumours that this is basically unplayable. It's not that bad really, all things considered. I mean it is quite funny how they've managed, how they've had to squish the display um, between two elements of the largest HUD in the history of mankind. But you know, I quite like the little hands of the steering wheel, that's quite, that's quite a nice touch. Good. Oh, I wonder what the minimum speed of this.
jump is. Not that. Okay, fair enough. Oh, so we've lost light and star. Sad times. Bloody Red Squadron. Coming in, taking over our system. kind of stuck. I don't even know if I can go in reverse. Championship. No mucking around this time. Keep thinking that house is a truck for some reason. Where's the other car? <laughs> this is supposed to be a race against another car. So I've just done a time trial. This makes no sense. This is pretty bad. go big dippery thing hang on there's no supposed to be another thingy a bank curve as well, I think. Ah. Really? This is really lame. <laughs> it doesn't even record my time. Hmm. That 
Let's see what the normal stunt track is like then. Oh dear. But am I going to meet anyone coming? Hang on, where's the dip? Oops. Too slow. It's momentarily put off by the lack of detail. Through the loop. Oops. I don't like the way the screen goes black like that as well. Feels like it's crashed. I don't like things that feel like they've crashed. Oh dear, this isn't going well at all. It's going the opposite of well. to that. Track 3. Here we go. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> so there's no no sharp drop here, which there is in every other version of hard driving, including the ZX Spectrum. So it keeps slowing down too much. That's the annoying thing, the other versions you knew the exact speed you had to do over these. Or at least there was a safe speed which you could start with and then work up and down. But they haven't bothered to put that element of the scenery in even though it was doing a useful job. Oh, another car! I wasn't sure if there were other cars. Oh blimey, he's taken effect a hit on the frame rate though. That was a slightly bizarre <laughs> jump. Um, down to one frame a second. I feel I could have beaten this time if. I was actually getting me full frame rate. How far are we over? Two seconds, that's not bad. Let's try the speed track this time.
another sharp drop? No? No, you've ditched the sharp drop again? That's okay. Doesn't feel like there's a massive penalty for going off road. Oh, blimey. Hang on, how did I get down there? Oh, this feels fudged. Extra time. Oh. Hello, cow. Oh no, spin out. Oh, that's quite, you know. That's quite a cool spin out effect, although it felt a little bit staged. Okay, so it looks like the speed speed track is the way to go. Let's have another go at the stunt this time, shall we? This time not mucking the bridge up. What the hell is he doing? What was that? gone mad someone call the police this fan doesn't know what he's doing and that's probably my chances of doing one two five out of the window then it's nice of it to put me back straight back down into first gear. They're all at it now. They've all gone mad. Oh, I see, so... What? Okay. Is that supposed to be a river, or...? Just a blue patch of death. seconds and a lorry that seems to be permanently stuck at the crossroads oh god now he's turning around championship so once again it's not a race against um, against the ghost because that was the other thing, the original aha, they've actually blocked it off <laughs> yeah, this is really bad so in the original that, should have been, that would have been a race against the car which is either the phantom photon when you boot up and if anyone's beaten the Phantom Photon, then you race their ghost. Uh, but there's just no ghost at all in the SNES version. 
different from the way those those cars seem to be deliberately set up to drive down the same patch of road again and again. I think I can guess why. So let's take the speedster on the autocross track. That cockpit's basically identical. sudden frame rate. Oh, so there is a ghost. There is a ghost, he just kills the frame rate completely. I don't know why there's a checkpoint. Wee, I'm back, me. At least the rear view mirror sort of works, I suppose. That's commendable. Well, I don't really understand what's going on, because I just beat my ghost twice. And I got a worse lap time each time. <laughs> Actually, sure what bearing the ghost car has on my <laughs> my current performance. I don't know if it's just what I did last time or what. Yeah, because the ghost car... Oh, hang on, you start... Oh, that's weird. You start off... Oh, they've mucked this up. So you start off about a couple of seconds closer on your first lap than you do on every subsequent lap. So there's a good chance that if you have a half decent first lap you're probably not going to beat it. Even though you do beat it, you beat the car to the finish line but then you are still slower.
There's also a limited number of laps on the other versions. But they're just using the same the same time based engine here, so theoretically I'm guessing I could keep going indefinitely. Depending on how long I want to punish myself for. I think this game is the SNES equivalent of flagellation. Oh, I've qualified for the championship. Let's go backwards. Come on, clock, you can count down. Be merciful, please. Here we go. Well, I've got to beat 43 seconds again. Which I've already done, so it's it's a bit of an anticlimax, if I'm honest. The whole point of these championship laps is you're supposed to you have one life and you race against something. I mean, I suppose you still have one life, but there isn't much tension if there's nothing for you to crash into. And then after you complete the lap, instead of just ending, it gives you an impossible amount of time. Which seems like a really bad... ...budge. I've seen enough of race driving for one day. 